Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I've, this one's been requested. I wasn't too sure if people would be interested, but we're going to do it anyway. So this is a video regarding whether you've just received your Syro or you're looking at getting maybe a Syro from Azeron. Um, like I said, guys, I am partnered with Azeron. I will leave the link down below. And if you use the code Nozabox, you will receive a 5% discount on your purchase. That's whether it's a Syro, a Cyborg, a Cyborg Compact, any of their products is a 5% discount. All you have to do is use that code Nozbox and it'll ask you on the end of the checkout. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, let's get right into it. Cheers. Okay, for those guys who do not know, I do stream live and I do it on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday and a Monday. It's normally around about 1 p.m. It can be two varies depending on what I've been doing during the morning. But if you guys are interested, I will leave this link also down below. If you want to come check this out, play playing with the Syro live, you can ask questions. Like I said, I'll leave it down below. You're more than welcome to come check us out and ask any questions you got live. Um, but right, basically, once you've got your, your Azeron Syro, you need to come to Azeron's website. I'll leave this link also down below. Checking out the store, it's pretty simple for me in orders. Uh, once you've done your order, once you've received it, sorry, you then go to downloads. And here you'll see Cyborg, Compact, and you've got the Syro. So you've got manuals if you want a manual, or you've got the quick guides, or just click this download. This download will bring you to the software, which I'll bring to in a minute, and I'll show you how to set that all up. It's pretty simple. Um, but like I said, if you've got any questions, guys, please do leave them down below in the comments or come across the live streams and ask me in person. Or if you want also, I have my Discord link in the description below. You're more welcome to join my Discord. I have around about five, maybe six other people in my Discord using the Sara as well. So if you want to join the community with that, you're more than welcome. It'd be great to have you. Um, so yeah, basically you click download, you go through all the settings, you tell what where you want it to be downloaded to. Um, I downloaded mine to desktop and then went from there and moved it as, a, as and when I wanted. Um, it's pretty fairly simple. There's no real problem. If you don't have to download software now, by now, then we're going to have a problem. If you need, really, need to need, really need to know how to download the software, just hit me up and I'll, I'll talk you through it. But just saying, it's, it's, it shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> so once you get the software, let me find it here. This is what you'll see. It'll come with the first profile one. And this is what it looks like. Every Syro comes with it. And normally all these are blank. And you have add profile. So with the Syro, you can have six onboard memories. Now, what this means is they are saved on board on the Syro itself. So if you take your Syro with you anywhere, so long as you have a profile switch button selected, you can hold the button scroll your mouse with up or down and it'll select whichever you want it's pretty simple it, just, it does mean though you will have to have a profile switch on every single profile because i don't really take it anywhere i just select whichever game i want to play at the time um i have been recently doing different things so different games uh my shooters world of warcraft diablo 4 and i've just started doing one for da vinci for while i'm editing these sort of videos Again, if that's the sort of thing you're interested to find out more about, you know, drop a comment below. It is pretty simple. Um, what I will do is I'll set up a brand new one for you all so you can see how I've done it. And we'll go from there. Um, um, I don't need this one, so if we... So if, you, if you've got a profile set up, you don't really, you're not really enjoying it, you want to clear it, you can just unbind all, but it can be a bit of a pain in the backside. If you just go to the button and right-click your mouse, have a right-click button set up for starters, and just right-click, and it will clear it off. Um, it's pretty simple. Every single... This is what every profile looks like when it comes... When you first get it, they are empty, and you will have to set up manually. So for a mouse button, because obviously you, you, you mainly use this as a mouse, it just has keyboard uh, facilities. So for this, you go on to here. It's automatically set to keyboard, and you would set this mouse, and want your rice mouse button. Rice, oh my god, 
right mouse button, sorry. So now you have a left and a right. Um, scroll wheel is automatically set up. The keyboard, uh, the Xbox keyboard, Xbox and keyboard is up to you how you want to do it. Um, the majority, so it depends on the game you want to play. Some games will have dual input allowed, some don't. So you're depending on how you want to play this and how what game you're playing. Some will just take, you know, an Xbox 360 joystick. Some won't. Um, I'll talk about your your dead zones and stuff later on. We'll talk about it in a bit. Um, the majority of the games will actually run with the Xbox 360 and keyboard. Uh, with that, all you have to do is set up. So you got your WASD. Each key, whatever I press, just goes into it. It's fairly simple. No real problems. If you want, you can do... Um, if you are... So now it'll actually show up with WASD. Uh, now I use the restrict ring that's provided. Um, so with mine, I would have to put, move my upper dead zone to 120. That's only because let's have a high have the um it's upper dead zone. So it's gonna be very finicky to get that last twin here we go. So there we go. So now it's a bit more easier to move around and it's more precise. I think is that the word I'm thinking thinking there. But yeah, like I said, these are all pretty simple. So even if you are one to play on the on the console. I think it'll work on a PS5 if you have, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll find out and I'll drop a link down below in, well in, the, in the comments. Uh, I'll probably pin it if I can. But you can change it to any input, so it doesn't have to be a keyboard. You can actually have inputs. So if you want to use Xbox settings, so basically use it on your Xbox, have an Xbox controller, your XYBA, your D-pad, uh, your shoulder buttons and your paddles. Um, there is so much you can do with this and easily set up. I think the majority of people are going to want to use this on PC because it's less faff. It's just a plug and play and then set up how you want it. A lot of people seem to be having... I've had a lot of people asking me uh, to help set up profiles for them. Now, I've got no problem with that. If, you want, if, there's, if, if there's a game you want to play and you don't know how to set a profile up, I'll happily screenshot i'll make one up screenshot it you can now then work off that what i do recommend if you are going to get into playing with the siro is have a think about how you want your button set um if i put my hand cam on hand cam sorry it's gonna be really big oh no it's not it's not that big so what you see I think where I can put this where it's not going to be in the way. Okay, so there we go. So you'll see the mouse wheel there. It's being picked up on the on the software. And the majority of people would have their left and right next to it. So like with normal mouse button, left, right, left, right. Mouse, mouse wheel, left, right, left, right. Um, again, it depends. You may hold it differently. The majority of people I see do actually have the left and right mouse button pretty close together. Uh, just makes it more simple, it feels more comfortable. Um, what I find as well is the majority of my shooter games I have set up where this button will actually be my reload. And that's for every every shooter game I play. So reload, this will be my shift for sprint. And I can literally show you this. This is normally space for jump. So I find it easier to, you know, go run forward, shift, jump if need be. And then one below is just normally the C for crouch. And then it's just a, you know, shift, slide, cancel, space, aim, shoot, aim, shoot, aim, shoot. It's fairly simple and fairly, you know, to put it horribly, or to put it bluntly, it's very, you know, idiot friendly. If that, without offending anyone in the chat, and if I have offended anyone in the comments, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone. Um, but yeah, I always have my left D-pad 
as an escape to escape from menus or if I bring up my inventory, so I'll, I'll use the tab there now. So if I'm playing like PUBG or I'm playing a battle rail, I'll bring that up, bring the tab up for my uh, inventory, escape to es escape to exit the menus, and move on from there. But again, it, it is very very simple. I can go into more depth if really necessary. All I can say, guys, is it takes a bit of time and it takes a bit of effort. Yes, there is a learning curve with the Syro. You're using one hand to do everything. Movement, open things, shoot things. It's a very different aspect to what it is. I've been using mine now for a year, and I'm still not fantastic. I'm still, I would say, average. Possibly below average, depending on the game. But the more you, more and more you use it, the more time you put into it, the better you're going to get with it. If that makes any sense, if you've got any queries questions please do drop them in the comments uh, i look forward to reading them and let's have a conversation again guys you're welcome to join the discord i'll put the link down below jump on azron check out see what you think see if you want to purchase save five percent by using nozzle box on the checkout but for now guys love you all take care of yourselves and uh we'll speak soon in the next video cheers guys love your faces